Hello everyone, good evening. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Lisa Kidd. I'm with Glam Boutique Studio and I'm a metaphysical uh, glam boutique. Today we are going to be making our Blanco Baño. Okay, a Blanco Baño is a white bath and this is a very, very gentle bath, but a very strong bath, a very good cleanse. This is a bath that you can either, it's so gentle you can use it on kids. We are here at my altar today. This is where I do most of my workings, okay? So um, if I don't do them here at my altar, I normally do them in my boutique and my whole boutique is an altar. <laughs> okay, so I have my uh, Peace Community Candle burning here in the background and we also have a frankincense and myrrh incense going we just lit. We're gonna actually go ahead and take this incense. I'm gonna use this just to cleanse the receptacle. We're gonna be making our bath here in this bowl. You know, I always like to use some type of glass bowl. Glass holds energy. I use this bowl. Um, this dish has been turned into, it's a really cute dish, but I turned it into my, um, for my workings. I normally use it when I work with my like Jericho Rose or my water when I put on my altar and things that I need, so. We're just cleansing it to make sure that the energies are there. Um, we'll go ahead and go over some of the ingredients that we are going to be using for this bath today. So one of the main ingredients that you use in a Blanco Baño is carnations. If you cannot find carnations, then you would want to use roses. White, only white roses, only white carnations. Like I said, this is called Blanco Baño. So that is literally translation for white bath. Um, you're going to use the amount of roses for the moon cycles for the year. This is a very divine feminine sort of bath, okay? So you're gonna wanna use, um, if there's 13 moon cycles, full moon cycles in that year, you'll wanna use 13 carnations or 13 roses or a mixture of each. I have 12 that I'll be using. I'll be picking off 12 of the carnations to be using today, okay? Cause there's 12 moon cycles, full moon cycles throughout 2022, so we'll be using that and carnations bring you like personal strength courage um, healing protection things like that it's also a very good flower for getting in touch with your spiritual ancestors your deities things like that to impart that um, knowledge um, it bridges the um, between the gaps of the world if you're trying to facilitate that type of relationship okay Two of the other things that you're going to need, you're gonna need some rice water and some oat milk or oat water, right? I like to make mine. You can buy oat milk if you want. I um, have just been having mine kind of set. Once I start, you'll be able to see. But um, I've kind of just had mine set, my oats. And I normally will let them set for anywhere from three hours to overnight. So you wanna do that with your oats and also with your rice, no longer than that but you do want the water to ferment just a little bit. It's very good for your skin, your hair, your nails, and things of that nature. So we're also gonna use rice water. Okay, so we're gonna have rice water, and I've had both of these setting out probably uh, probably about 10 hours now, okay? I didn't do overnight like normal, but I wanna go ahead and get this bath done because I really wanna take one this evening, okay? So like I said, I've had them setting out for about eight hours though, really getting that fermentation going. So the rice water is very good. Like rice is very good for like blessings. We know it's symbols of abundance. It's also good for protection, prosperity, um, keeping evil spirits away. Uh, like I said, it's also really good for your hair and skin and your nails, things like that. Then we also have the oat milk. Like I said, oats are really good for stability, creating inner change, inner peace, healing, endurance, um, and balance. You wanna also get you some spring water. I don't have my spring water here, but I have mixed my, I've mixed my rice water. This is mixed with spring water. So you'll want to use spring water in uh, your oats or your rice when you're making that, okay? You don't want to use um, like tap water or distilled or anything. Spring water or um, even if you could get natural river water, that would be even, <laughs> even better. I have some here that I'll be using um, a few drops of it in semi bath. So some of the other ingredients that we'll be using though also just to get out the way. I normally use coconut milk in this also. I did not have any coconut milk. So you can use coconut milk, coconut butter, coconut oil. You can add any of those things. So I'll be adding coconut oil to my um, bath here tonight. I'll be actually using coconut. And the reason you want to use coconut is it's really good for opening your chakras. Okay, coconut, especially your crown and your third eye chakras. This is actually a bath I very we rarely tell people to pour a bath on their head. 
This is actually a bath that I will wash my hair with and everything and wash my crown for clarity and things like that. Okay, it's gentle enough. Your spirit guides won't mind. Um, that's why I normally tell people to warn against because depending on who your spirit guides are, you don't know if they will like your baths that you are using, the scents and things that you are using. So I warn people normally just to pour their spiritual baths um, from the neck down. This bath, like I said, however, I will pour it in the bath water and dunk myself completely over or pour it over my head from head to toe. Okay, so you're gonna be using the, um, like I said, the coconut oil in there. Also goat's milk. So we're gonna use, we're gonna be using goat's milk. Goat's milk is super strong. It is probably the strongest milk for cleansing next to, and then cow's milk and then coconut milk, okay? So when you're doing a cleanse, goat's milk is very strong. As we know, goats are very stubborn, they're very strong. It's great for cleansing. It's great for bringing in personal power and success as well. We also have some cascaria. Okay, some cascaria powder. And cascaria is really good for protection. It's, egg, it's an eggshell powder. It crumbles. It's very soft. Okay, um, you can use this like to, sometimes I'll use this to literally uh, mark on my wrist after I get out of my showers and things. I'll use it against my doorways. Um, on my house, I'll sprinkle some along the outside. Like I said, it's an eggshell powder, so it's very good for protection. Um, it's good for removing unwanted psychic energies and vibrations, for protecting yourself, for purifying and things like that. We're also gonna be using some Florida water. Florida water is a colonia, and it is very good for pushing and pulling negative energies. We are using negative, we're using Peruvian Florida water for this one because we wanna keep this bath completely white. We're also gonna be using some Kananga water. Kananga water is very good for protection, okay, and for bringing in love. We're gonna add a little bit of bay rum. This is my recipe personally. Um, the beginning was the basic recipe. All you need for the basic recipe, literally though, is goat's milk and like coconut milk or coconut oil, coconut butter, um, a little bit of holy oil and a little bit of holy water. That's all you need for the basic recipe. All the rest is extras, okay? Bay rum is a very good water for your spirits, for um, bringing, for uh, offering for your ancestors and things like that. And C Colonia tobacco water is also very good for offering and for um, connecting with your spirit ancestors. So we'll be adding those. I'll also be adding a few drops of um, carnation essential oil just to give it a little extra kick. And I also have, like I said, my holy oil. This is a mixture that I have made myself with, uh, it has like protection oil um, and holy oil mix. So that is a blessed oil there. So what you wanna do, like I said, we already got our receptacle very clean. This bath is very quick and easy to make. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. Oh, we also have a white candle. Um, you'll want to use a white candle because you're going to use leave this bath here at your altar to illuminate. Okay, so we can go ahead and we're gonna also cleanse this candle off. Okay, we're gonna cleanse this candle just because we wanted to remove any negative energies that may have been possibly brought in. So we're gonna just smudge this candle just to cleanse this candle. Okay. All right. I normally like to go ahead and we're gonna go ahead first and we're gonna pour our waters in. Let me get my strainer. Okay, so first I got my strainer here. This is my strainer. You know I'm really big on whatever utensils you use for your magic, you keep them for your magic. So we're going to go ahead and pour our oat water in. And go ahead and dump all that in so you can as you can see, the water is a little bit cloudy there, so go ahead and squeeze all that. Getting this out, like, and the longer you let it sit, and if you have regular oats, it'll be better. Sorry, you guys, my cat just jumped on me, but if you have regular um, oats, it'll be a little bit uh, more cloudy. These are steel cut oats, but hey, you use what you have. Okay, so we're just straining some of that milk out of there. And then we're gonna just, I'm just gonna pour this rice on in here as well.
like I said, once again, rice water is very good for abundance, bringing in those that protection, um, keeping away those evil entities. The oats are very good for stability and things of that nature. So we're just going to go ahead and set that aside. And we're going to go ahead and mix in. I'm just going to do a cap or so. Okay, Spirit said three, three caps of Florida water. We're gonna do one cap of Yangling, or I'm sorry, Kananga water. It is basically Yangling, Langling. I don't know how to say it. Okay, we're gonna also do three caps of our Bay Rum water. And we're just gonna do a little bit of tobacco water, or 1800 tobacco water, okay? And I've got my wand here that I use, okay? This is from my grandfather, like I, this is what I always use to stir all my magic. It has lots of magic in it, so we're gonna just give that a couple of stirs. We're starting to the right, we're gonna start clockwise because we wanna bring all this goodness into us. Um, I like to pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for a spirit to awaken these herbs, this rice water, this oat water to its original purpose, to bring in strength, abundance, and stability and prosperity into our lives. We're asking this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit to awaken these herbs and to bring in this um, into its original purpose of strength and prosperity and abundance and to bring this into our lives. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we're asking you to awaken these herbs and to bring this um, water, this richness and this abundance and this peace and prosperity, this clarity into our lives. So we're just going to pray every now and then. I like to do that over my herbs as I keep going. Um, okay, my uh, insert had one out there, so we're just going to relight that. All right, we're gonna add also, this is some moon charged holy water that I have. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. It's actually rainwater. <laughs> so that's really good. We're gonna add that. We're gonna go ahead and add our vial of uh, protection oil. So that's the only thing, the only color you shall see in here. And we're going to add a little bit of carnation oil. A few drops, we're gonna do seven drops, okay. Of carnation essential oil as well. We want to take our coconut oil and I'm going to just use the rest of this considering like I said I don't have the coconut milk so we're going to use this because we're going to use that whole thing of milk. Normally I would do half and half but since I don't have it we're going to use that whole thing of goat's milk. Mix in. Okay, you'll want to keep this, after you make this, you're going to want to keep this in the refrigerator. And we are just going to pour this milk in. about the oil settling like that if you use coconut oil um, when you put it in your bath it's gonna melt right <laughs> okay what you can do is just like you can simply even warm you a little bit of this up beforehand I should have shook it a little bit better <laughs> beforehand but that's okay also want to crumble in your cascaria okay 
And this stuff just falls apart. It's real powdery. It's real, real simple. So you just want to crumble in your cascaria powder. Once again, this is really good for blocking against any negative psychic forces. You just need one. One will do its job. And this right here is enough literally for a while, you guys. So as you can see, the coconut milk, because the milk I have is cold. Normally, I would have had the milk set out for a little while, but I forgot, you guys. So I did it right before the video. But I'm not worried about it, because like I said, sometimes I'll just warm, take a little bit out, because who wants to... Um, I'll normally take a little bit out and just uh, warm it a little bit so that melts and then just let it get to room temperature and then take my shower. Okay, because you're going to want to put in this in the refrigerator. So this batch will last you for about a week. You can take a cup out at a time and just use it in your bath or in your shower and just rub that all over you, pour that bath all over you. We're going to go ahead and add our carnations now. So I'm going to pick 12, like I said. So there goes one. This bath is really beautiful. And we're going to do two. And you want to make sure only to get the white parts in there, you guys. You don't want the green parts. So three. And I like to ask the plants, I, which I've already done, I, I, the same way. I awaken it, its per herbs to its original purpose. I pray over this, and we'll do that also again. Oh, seven. I'm going to do eight. Nine. Eleven. Let's take this little guy. Twelve. And we want to ask Spirit. We're going to pray to Spirit right now in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit to awaken our herbs, awaken these carnations to their original purpose of power and connecting us to our ancestors and to our roots and enjoying the purification that they bring into us. Spirit, we ask in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit to awaken these carnations to the original purpose of power and um, connection and bringing us in the messages from our ancestors and our spirit guides and gently recovering us from any and restoring us from any um, previous hurts or pains or negativities that have been in our life and removing those things and bringing in our blessings. Spirit, we ask in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that you bless us and that you awaken these flowers and bring them in power into their highest purpose um, of awakening and helping to bless us and to connect us with our ancestors. Ashe, ashe, ashe. And what we're going to do now, it gets kind of messy, but I like to muddle. Literally, put your hands in there. This is your personal power, and you're going to muddle those carnations literally into that milk. Okay. Feels so good. But you really just squeeze the flower essence into that milk. This is a very good, very relaxing bath. You can take at nighttime um, before you go to bed. That's why I say you can take you out a cup, pour it in your hot bath, and you'll it'll be perfect. It's all getting mixed into the coconut oil, you guys, which, like I said, I knew was going to happen because the milk was a little bit too cold. So this is what you want to do. Just mixing all of those ingredients in. And it smells so good. Yeah, it smells so good, you guys. 
and I'll do this bath for anywhere from three to seven days okay and I normally do it like I said at night you want to change your sheets if you can put some white sheets on your bed okay that way you can protect yourself from any negative energies being reabsorbed after you've done your bath um, after you've done your bath you can also like I said um, oh my cat stole my paper towel <laughs> Okay, but after you do your bath, you all, I'm just gonna have to wipe it on my leg. After you do your bath, you can, like I said, take you some cascaria and either mark your wrist, make rub mark the back of your neck and ask for protection from spirit, um, marking your gateways, your spiritual gateways and things. What you'll wanna do with your candle at this point is you're going to set your candle in the middle of your blanco, blanco baño. And we are literally gonna just light our candle. Let me get it lighter, you guys. We prayed over our bath. We're going to light our candle. Like I said, I do my work at my altar for this reason. And we're just going to simply pray to our ancestors and ask for our ancestors to charge this bath and to illuminate this bath so that it brings us into our highest white light. So that we it blesses us and that it cleanses us in a gentle and most compassionate way while illuminating our light and bringing us into our strength. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we ask that you allow this bath to bring us into a light, bring us into our strength, um, and bless us in abundance and illuminate our light. Illuminate the light sides of us as we learn to work through our shadows illuminate and allow us to connect with our ancestors we ask this in the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit that you ask that you bless us and that you connect us with our ancestors and our highest white light and our highest cause and i ask this in the name and the power and i command it ashe 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 and so you just simply say a prayer for yourself and you want to just keep going if you want to sometimes i'll sit and i'll chant with my candle and my bath for a while and just invoke that spiritual energy into that okay because the more you put in the better all right and I'll normally leave this on my altar tonight simply because I probably want the milk to warm a little. I'm probably going to leave it on my altar for another hour to three hours. I'm not going to lie. And then what I'll do is go ahead and take me a cup out, like I said, and either mix it with some more spring water. If I'm not going to um, take a bubble bath, like I can take a cup out of this and just pour it in the bath. Because this should be enough, like I said, for about seven, three to seven baths. So take you a cup out and mix it into your bubble, your water, your bath water. And then if you want to use a soap, you can use Castile soap. That's it. Okay, but, and you wanna use that in the bath or you can take a cup out and then mix it with four to six cups of spring water and just pour it over you from head to toe after you've already washed your body with the Castile soap or with your um, cleanse of choice, okay? All right, you guys, this is a very simple bath, but yet very efficient and very strong. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably start trying to do a little bit more things like this. All right. Till next time, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that. Okay. Let me know that you guys are feeling the videos or what you're not feeling or more videos that you would like more of. I appreciate you all and I will be with you soon. Ciao.